Hi everybody, I'm Jen. I'm in Lurking in the Shadows. Okay, today we have core and abs. I saw that Kenley's Dynamic Power Class had a hashtag my legs, so I figured we'd even it out and do some upper body tri tricep um, action going on today and abs. So you're gonna, I have a um, bench here, just some off the ground a little bit, just so you can see me a little easier, but you can totally be on the bench, or on the floor the whole time. I will be going down to the floor, obviously, for the app component. So today we have a bunch of upper body exercises. We're gonna do 12 repetitions a piece. We're gonna go from the all one time, do the abs, and then I think we're probably gonna have time for three rounds, but we'll see what happens, okay? So I'm probably gonna grab a pair of 15s, but we'll see what happens. You definitely have more available to your um, in your area if you have the ability to have multiple weights. Um, so some of the exercises we're going to do them both sides at the same time, and some of the exercises it's called crush. We're going to do them individually. That way we can really see what's going on and potentially maybe even have our other hand help us a little bit if needed. So grab some weights. Grab your mat. I may regret this 15, but I'm going to try. I'm going to start. I can always, I can always switch. All right, so we're just going to warm up the upper body bit. Hi, my name is Jen. We haven't met. This is Fitness Challenge. This is a 20 minute workout with a five minute warm, a five minute cool down, get you in, get you out in 30 minutes. All right, so let's just swing those arms. And let's bring them in the front, open, and back up. So I'm here. Opening and I can lean, I can go back a little bit if I want, but I'm not I'm not doing that. Well, let's change it so let's open, get a little core. And then come back to the center. Now let's go a little diagonal. Let's come down, touch a toe, come on up. So it's a little disco action and I'm coming in coming and then coming out so it's two motions here my other arm is just out of the way one more let's do the other side so we're down in up in And come on up. Now let's take those arms out to the side. Let's come down, touch an ankle or so. Come back up. Other side. Two more each way. One. And two. And come on up, bring those arms down. Now, we're not going to do any official push-ups today, but we are going to do some push-ups on the wall just to warm up. We're going to do tricep push-ups. And what I mean by that is you're going to have your arms kind of here, in and out. I don't want them out here. I want them super in. I really want you to feel the back of your arm. You can do these on the ground. You can do them on a bench or anything like that. But we're going to do them on, I'm going to do them on the wall because we're warming up. And we're coming down and up. Let's do for 10. More. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One. All right, so now we're going to go through all the exercises with no weight to kind of finish up for a warm up and to kind of give you the rough idea of what's going on. So I'm going to go on to the ground or my mat or my bench or whatever I got going on. Nice flat back. I like this because I can take my ponytail off the end. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do a chest press. So I have a little bit of room here to come down. Obviously, if you're on a mat, you're not going to, you're going to be stuffing about here. We're going to be pressing up and down. Nice, easy motion, chest press, 
working those pecs. So this is gonna be obviously our chest press. We're gonna do a couple more here. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna tuck those elbows into my side. I'm gonna keep my other rest of my arm the same. I'm just gonna push straight up. This is gonna be our shoulder press. So the weights are kind of right above our shoulders. It's kind of aiming for. Let's do three, let's do two, let's do one. All right, so then we're gonna drop our weights and we're gonna only have one. And we're gonna do a skull pressure, just single-sided. So if you need to assist, you can either drop your weight or you can push ever so slightly on the back of your arm to push up. So I'm going for right above, kind of my ear is where I'm aiming for. And then obviously we're gonna do the other side as well. Same thing. If you don't need that support arm, that's totally fine. And then we're gonna do crossovers. So we're gonna go back to side A. Instead of reaching towards this ear, we're gonna reach towards this ear. So I'm gonna go this like wood choppy motion. This one, you may need to drop your weight with. A lot of times it can get a little tough because this is the not a motion you do very often. And then obviously the other side as well. So doing these without any weights, this is not a waste here. This is getting the muscle ready for what it's going to be doing. And I always suggest trying to do the motion without the weight. It's the final part of your warm up. And then I'm gonna take the weight in both hands. I'm gonna spread it equal, let's do one weight. And I'm gonna come back and up. So I'm coming with the back from my shoulders, kind of reach my, um, my bench, obviously you're gonna hit the ground here. And we're gonna do this. Now I want to make sure that your shoulders are staying on the mat and you're not getting a big, huge gap in your back here. You're pushing your back into the mat or the bench and it's an upper back movement here. This is not a full body movement. All right, so that is the last one of our exercises and then we go down to the floor for core. And then we're just gonna go cycle through all those a bunch of times, probably three, but we'll see what happens. So, we're shooting for a 12 repetition. If you are going a little bit faster than me, that's totally fine, you can do 15 or whatever it happens, whatever your number happens to be. If you have a heavier weight or you're a little tired, maybe you're gonna go a little slower and that's totally fine. If you're only doing like five or six reps because you need to take breaks and things like that, maybe we adjust our weights a little bit. Or if we don't have the ability to adjust our weights, we take the breaks that we need. All right, so we're gonna start with that chest press first. <sighs> All right, so we have our weights. We have nice neutral wrists as much as we can, and we're pressing up and down for 12. I'm gonna count to myself. You can count to yourself too. Three, two, one. And relax, bring those weights down. If you need to change a weight out, this is a good time to do it. And then we're gonna go into those shoulder presses. All right, so bring those weights to your side and press up and down. This is heavy. Two. Keep it going. So do two more. 11 and 12, take a break. Now I noticed that that was gonna be no way in holy heck I was doing those for 15, so I changed, it's not a problem. And I missed a little bit of that round, but that's okay, so we're gonna do it again. All right, so let's do those skull crushers, so we only need one weight. All right, bring that weight up, down by the ear and up. All right, are we ready? On your mark. Get set and go. <sighs> Got 
that two more. And we're not holding our breath. Relax. All right, ready for the other side? Let's go. Eleven and twelve. All right, take a break. One side's gonna be a little tighter, harder, go a little shorter than the other side. That's totally fine. All right, so now we're gonna cross over. Now, if you have that same range of motion you just had, that's great. If you need to shorten it a little bit, I understand. So we're shooting for this opposite ear. Don't drop the weight on your head, please. Let's go. Different motion. more. If you get to 12 before me and you're stopping at 12, go for it. Other side. Let's go. Eleven and twelve. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go into that pull over. So grabbing that weight equally I'm on both hands, and let's go down and drop. Two more. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to go into those abs. Give your arms a minute or two to recover before we go right back into it. So we have hip dips and sit-ups. That's our plan. So let's come down to the mat if you're already there. Great. We're going to be on our forearm and on either our knees or our legs are going to be out in a full plank. And all we're going to do is just drop those hips 90% of the way back to, to the ground, and then we're back up again, okay? So let's come up into a plank, whatever we're going to do it as, and drop for one, two, three, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I'm sneaky because this is also using your shoulders, so still arms. All right, other side. Same thing. Uh, come on up. And one, two, three. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and down. All right, so now we're just gonna do 12 full sit-ups. If you can't do sit-ups, crunches are fine. I'm just gonna cross my arms over my chest, but my arms can also be behind my head. Are we ready? 12 repetitions. Let's go. Nine, ten, 
11, and 12. Beautiful. Stand on up. Grab some water and get yourself situated for round number two. Exactly the same thing. So you know what's going on. So I'm going to have my two pairs of weights here because that's what I need today. And we're going to start out with those chest presses. <clears throat> All right, get comfy. Everybody, on your mark, get set, and press for one. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Now we're on to those shoulder crushers, shoulder presses, whatever you'd like. Oh, okay, shoulder presses are when you're, when you're sitting up. So let's call these shoulder crushers. <clears throat> All right, we're ready. Three, two, one. Eleven, twelve. Oof, those suckers burn. All right, let's do the individual side. Just go up pressure. Wait up and go. I like putting this arm here. It's a way to just make sure my whole arm isn't like coming down. But you can also use it for support. Nine, ten, whew, eleven, and twelve. Give that arm a break. Side two, and go. That first side is always so hard because it's just going right from the presses into that crusher. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, crossing over. Remember, we're going for the opposite ear. Ready? And go. Remember the first time I did these? Oh. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Take a second. Side B. Let's go. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, <clears throat> pullovers are next. It's just one way. <sighs> Let's go.
nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, back down to the ground. I think we'll be able to get three sets in. It'll be a little tight, but I think we can do it. All right, hip dips. Side one, remember you can be on your knees if you need to be, not a problem. Come on up, and dip for one. set. Oh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Butt down. Sit-ups or crunches. Twelve. Now let's begin. We shoot for 10 repetitions and then 12 repetitions. Sound good? Obviously, if you're using a little bit of lighter weight or you're like, I got this, Jen, go for 12. Do it. But just for the sake of time, I'm going to count to 10 for everything. So you make the decision that is best for you. And hopefully, if you pick the correct weights, that this last set should be challenging for you. Let's press it out for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Somehow, magically, just knowing I have two lost repetitions makes it more doable. Amazing how that works. All right, just pushing it right from the side. Let's go for one. Six, nine, ten. All right, for those skull crushers, I'm gonna start on the other side first. The first two sides, two rounds I did from my right side. I'm gonna go with my left side first. Just to throw it up a little bit, but end result still the same. So I'll crush her first and let's go. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Other side, and go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Crossing over, opposite ear. Eight, 
nine, ten. <sighs> Other side, and let's go. Almost done with this workout. Two more, two more. All right, let's finish off on the ground with those hip dips. Remember, we're going for 10. I'm a good set. And let's do it for one, two, three, four. Two more. Ten. Woo. Roll back. Drop those knees. You can just go a little side to side if you want. And when you're ready, you are going to sit on. I'm just going to sit on the bench, but feel free to just sit on the floor, not a problem. All right, let's bring one arm over and move around that wrist. Other side. Tricep stretch. There's a lot of tricep work today. So maybe you do these stretches now, and then maybe in a couple hours you do them again. Another side. Let's open those arms up to the back. Big chest opener. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna stretch thing the arm behind. So we're looking, looking for this action. And switch on out. Reaching towards that elbow. This, this is the shoulder ten. This is the elbow. Reaching towards that shoulder. Now let's reach behind. So I'm just pulling. Just pulling over like that. Still opening up that chest, sitting up nice and tall, however I'm sitting. I'm stretching it out. And finally, some little neck rolls. 
both directions. That's it. We're short and sweet for today. Hit those triceps, hit some chest, hit some upper back, hit some core. Have a great weekend. Don't forget this is turn your clock back or turn your clock ahead. Spring forward. So if you are going to Kenley's class on Monday, don't be late. Bye.